Okay, we're back. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. If you've never come across the channel before, we talk about passive income in terms of crypto. So mainly GPU mining, FPJ mining, but recently I've been creating some videos on DeFi projects as well. And today's video, we're talking about DeFi. So this video is gonna be covering what is Hive Investments? When does it come out? How much money can you make if you invest? How not to get stunned? and also should you invest. So let's get straight in there. Come on, let's do it. So I've heard that the white paper is gonna be coming out very soon, within 24 hours probably of this video going out. I'm still gonna release this video, but what I've decided to do is I'm gonna do an update covering the white paper. And what I'll do is I'll link that video when I've produced it down below in the description box. So if you wanna check that out, it's gonna be down there for you. Okay, let's do it. So we're over here on Hive Investments Twitter account. And for the project not up and running, they already have nearly 19,000 Twitter followers. And you can see that they've been super active on Twitter as well. They've got 3,300 posts, which is a lot considering that they don't have anything up and running at the minute. And it says, introducing hashtag Hive, a Polygon-based DAS project built by bees for bees to take over DeFi. Okay. Proudly a core protocol of the Union of Transparency, hashtag UOT. And you can see here they're saying they're on the Polygon network and they have a link to their medium, which is right here, which we're gonna have a wee read on. And you can see on Twitter here, they have very slick graphics. And you can see some of their tweets. As you can see here, this is them showing their treasury investment portfolio. This will be on their app. And obviously you can see they're gonna be showing what they've invested in. It's very, I would say actually a very nice looking DAP. If you go and compare it to like Thor and stuff like that, this is pretty clean cut, which is quite nice. Again, the art department's doing a quite good job. Looks like they're doing some sort of Minecraft <laughs> B design here. Here's some of the NFTs, the B NFTs. Here's another still of the DAP, and you can see obviously this one on the home. And you can see to mint your NFT, you're gonna get a B NFT, obviously. There's different levels here as well they're trying to show you, and they're trying to show you here as well the price as well. So they'll be able to show you price, how many worker bees and different types of uh, tiered products, uh, how many there are on the network and all that sort of good stuff. Here on their medium or medium, and this is an intro to Hive and they're calling it DAS 2.0. So I'm just gonna pick out a few highlights that I think from this page that are interesting and that you should consider when looking into investing in this project. It says here, Hive is set to change the face of DeFi as a service, brackets DAS, with its unique and optimized operating model. And then it goes on and it says, conceptually, DAS presents many opportunities along with its fair share of challenges, which we have all seen or experienced. To be truly unique, Hive aims to analyze and address both the opportunities and challenges to create a collective that is strong, sustainable, and successful for many years to come. It goes on and says, we have all seen other protocols launch without audits, inadequate penetration testing, KYC, but I guess third party docs, and token white papers, all leading to excessively high risk profiles with little to no reassurance of the longevity of ongoing returns. Now tell me about it. There's loads of investment DeFi projects like this. If they actually truly do some of this stuff, wow, it's gonna be fantastic. And they go on to say they're gonna be bringing transparency, reliability, sustainability. They're saying high level of security and they're saying that they're gonna be giving you that high level of security by being KYC'd and also being multi-sig. So we're over here and as you can see that Hive Investments has already been KYC'd and they've been KYC'd by somebody called Assure DeFi. And based on Assure DeFi, they are a KYCer of projects, probably only crypto projects. <laughs> what happens is they mint an NFT and I think this is actually an NFT minted on Ethereum, I think. Um, so it's there to stay and obviously it's owned by Hive Investments from what I gather. So in terms of how much do I value this KYC in by Assure, I don't value it that highly. 
And the reason I say that is who are Assure DeFi? And if you go and look at who Assure DeFi is, they don't even really disclose who they are themselves. We go over to the CEO of Assure DeFi and you see it's basically just a Twitter account and a Telegram account. And, and you can see they say stuff like US-Mexico border tunnels as their location. So they're kind of taking the piss with it a wee bit, to be honest. And yeah, I don't know. I just don't value, I don't have that much confidence, to be honest. The only person you can see here that's actually got their face to the project is uh, Taylor Keys. To be fair to her, you can actually see she has like a legit person by the looks of it. And she's obviously, you can see that she's got our education and this is a legit person so it's good that somebody is actually putting their face to this and actually putting their their name to this but I mean to be honest this doesn't inspire me with confidence with the CEO not being out there same with the marketing person same with customer service they're not really showing themselves and you can see they're saying fast 24 hour 48 hour standard turnaround um, all that sort of good stuff you can even pay for a same day service so like, I mean, how, how in depth are they actually going on this? Are they actually able to verify that it's the correct person? So I just doubt it a wee bit. Like you can you can pay more to get it verified in the same day, all that sort of stuff. And it's like, uh, yeah, very dubious. Assures identity verification processes are compliant with these standards. And you can read them off there yourself. And I gotta say like, if there's anyone who knows about these standards, are these standards legit? Let me know in the comment section below. I don't know too much about them myself. Basically, all I'm saying is without doing any more research, do I feel really confident that Assure DeFi is a fully trusted service? I'm a little skeptical, but if there's anyone who knows more about it than myself, please drop it in the comment section below. Let me know, point me to stuff I should read about it. It would be really interesting to know, and I think for the community in general, for people who are wanting to get into DeFi, this is very important. Cutting into what is multi-sig, well basically multi-sig is basically a wallet or a multi-signature wallet that requires multiple private keys to approve or execute the transaction. In essence, ideally what you would need is multiple people to approve certain transactions. But obviously it's dependent on who has access to the particular wallets for signing the transaction. So you could have multi-sig and actually it could still be one person who's approving the transfer. <laughs> On Hive Investments, it's not actually discussed in the minute who's going to be or what system they're going to be using for multi-sig, but uh, I'm sure we'll find out the details about that at some point in the future. So possibly this could be one of the products that's used for doing the multi-sig and they're called Genosis Safe. So we'll see if they get used, but I have seen it used by other projects in the past, this type of multi-sig. Hive are also gonna be getting an audit done in order to make sure that their uh, code and their DAP and all that sort of stuff can withstand hacks. Um, so that's always encouraging, obviously, to make sure there's no weaknesses in the system. Hive are here saying protection in bull and bear markets. So they're saying there's a lot of fluctuation in the cryptocurrency market, as we all know, ups and downs. So in order to provide protection, what they are saying is that they have an emergency mechanism where the team or they can cut 50% of their rewards during massive market downturns to ensure stability. And that's obviously a protection against market volatility. So I think that's just something to note that they do have built-in mechanisms into probably an imagined smart contract to be able to do that. And I would say if you are an investor, I would say that is a positive thing, that they have these controls built in. So at the time of recording this video, the white paper has not been released yet, so there's quite a lot of details still missing in terms of tokenomics, some of the structures of Hive, uh, some of their future roadmap, all that sort of stuff. So I would imagine your initial investment will get burned when you're buying into one of these tiers. You'll then be given an NFT, and then I would imagine at some stage, there will be a marketplace where you will be able to sell or trade your NFTs, which I think is obviously a nice feature, and I know obviously some of these other node projects, they are trying to implement 
this NFT marketplace where you can trade your NFTs. We will see more about that when the white paper is released, I would imagine as well. So you'll see here under the protocol networking growth section, they're talking about how they're part of the Union of Transparency or the UOT. And this is basically just a joint venture with Thor and one or two other partners where they're trying to where they're trying to push a message of trustworthiness, transparency, all that sort of good stuff. You can also see that they're saying that they're trying to do this in order to increase their total audience reach. And you can see here over on Twitter, this is the Union of Transparency, and you can see that this Twitter account was created in January 2022. So I presume there's gonna be more coming from the Union of Transparency. There's nothing been tweeted about it as of yet. But obviously in the future, I'm sure that will be happening. And you can see here actually, uh, from what I gather, this uh, account here, which is Loki, who is the community manager, I think, for Thor, he's obviously a founding member of the Union of Transparency. Once there's some news about the Union of Transparency, I think I will be covering it on the channel, but as of yet, there's not too much about the Union. So let's watch this space. Couldn't find anything in terms of what these tiers are gonna cost, and I couldn't find anything about what the proposed APY is gonna be on these tiers and so obviously can't find anything out about the return on investment either so we'll just have to wait for that. When is this project launching? Well from what I gather this project is going to be launching in late Feb to early March. That's going to coincide with a launching of their Discord server as well so make sure to look out for that. So reading over some more of their information here and I thought it was interesting they were talking about the pros and cons when selecting which network they wanted to operate on. Obviously they have selected the Polygon network and they, they're saying it's, it's a more established ecosystem. There's no competition in that domain. In terms of DAS projects, DeFi as a service, it's fast and cheap transactions. They're saying they got a solid base there as a L2. The network is easy to bridge and also is a well-defined grown ecosystem. They're saying there's some cons there in terms of congestion and also it's less hyped compared to Phantom. And they're really saying that they feel that the novelty factor of being on the Polygon network outweighs the current hype of the Phantom network. They also are saying that they are anticipating a explosion in growth in 2022 of Matic. Thought that was just an interesting bit to know. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of Hive Investments. What do you think about the security that they're thinking of putting in place? Do you feel it's enough for you to invest? all that sort of good stuff. I'll be really, really interested to find out what your opinion is on this project and in general what your opinion is on these type of node projects as well. So get involved and do let me know in the comment section below. So should you invest in the project? Well, I think it's still early days, but I think there are some good signs. Personally, I wanna be able to read the white paper. I wanna see certain details to do with security in terms of what they're doing, in terms of locking up value, in terms of using multi-sig, all that sort of good stuff. Once that all gets clarified, I think it'll be clearer for us to see if we wanna invest into this. Some good aspects I think about the project, obviously there's huge hype to do with this project before the launch, which I think bodes quite well for it. I think obviously the project looks very polished as well. They're bringing in obviously NFTs, possibly an NFT market, place which I think is also a good sign for their general ecosystem and I think if you do get in on this project early being an early adopter I think you obviously can make huge money on this there is a whitelist for people to get in on the project early so I think the people who get on the whitelist are going to do great too so let's see how this project develops I would say definitely keep a close eye on this if you are interested in nodes go and follow their twitter loads of announcements come there and go and follow my insta on twitter as well because I'll be talking about this project project over the next couple of weeks as well. So I just want to say thanks so much for watching. Hope everyone found this video useful. Please smash that like button. It really helps the channel out. If you want to see more content just like this covering node projects to do with passive income, to do with mining, well you come to the right place, please consider subscribing. And all I want to say is have a fantastic day and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye just now.